What is up guys, it's Ghostlander, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I make my videos for 2016. Now guys, um, I do record my videos with open broadcaster software. This is a free program, and this is how I record everything uh, happening. I'm literally recording this video right now with this software. Uh, so basically, as you go into the software, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like completely blank over here. You're not going to see anything in scenes, you're not going to see anything in sources. So basically, what you want to do is, right when you get it, you want to right click in scenes, and you want to click add scene. As you do that, you're going to see uh, a scene appear over here and you can literally switch uh, which scene you want. Literally, you're, you're seeing my uh, LOL client right now. Uh, now you're seeing my desktop. So, uh, and basically how you get to what you want to record is you go into sources and you click, uh, you, you right click and you press add. And then over here, you'll see window capture. And then you click, let's just say you want to record your League of Legends gameplay. So you click League of Legends in-game. Um, and you click OK. And over here, and over here, you're going to see, um, you're, you have to be in-game, by the way, to do this, to record your League of Legends. All right. Over here, you're going to see LOL client. Uh, this one's not, like, this one's the, the real client. But uh, it's going to say League of Legends client, or TM client. And that's basically your in-game um well, your in-game window. So that's basically what you want to click. Uh, I don't have it open right now because, or I don't have it here because I'm not in-game. Uh, I would do it in-game, but it's really like, it's it's kind of like a hassle. Um, so you're going to click on that, and then you're going to click OK. Uh, right now, I'm not going to do that. Um, oh, actually, I messed that up. Okay. Oh, that's my upload screen. There, right, let's go. All right. Uh, so basically, now, after that, what you want to do is you want to, right when you do that you want to change all your settings or if you want to change like how your screen looks let's just say um, your screen's just a little bit like smaller for the um, the window so you click edit scene and basically you can just control everything um, or sorry manipulate everything to the size that you want so right now I'm expanding it and I can make it smaller and it's just a really simple way to do it you just click edit scene click on the thing you want and yeah and if you want to put like a picture or something uh, you can click add and then image and then you uh, would search through your computer for an image and that I'm gonna leave a like a tutorial like in depth uh, to how to use this program in the description uh, so if you do wanna well like learn a lot more about OBS uh, you can go there uh, but I'm gonna give you guys a quick run of my settings if you want to do copy my settings um, and how you record with this is basically you just have to press record or stop start recording uh, I already pressed start recording because I'm recording this right now um, and then right after that you click stop recording and wherever in the settings you set your file to uh, it will take that file to wherever you set it so I have mine on my desktop so after this video is done it's gonna be on my desktop and uh, we'll grab it from there and and then after that stage two is put it to my editing software or take it to my editing software man I can't speak English today it's really weird Okay, so these are my settings. I have it in English, of course. Um, for encoding, I, this is this all depends on your internet. Uh, I put it at 2,000. It seems like a good stable amount for me, even though I do have pretty fast internet. Um, I just keep it at 2,000. I should probably put it a little bit higher, but I f some of my viewers complain that it's like too high quality for their internet, so it can like vary. Uh, for bitrate, usually it's supposed to be at 128. Uh, I don't see much of a difference. 128, 320, it doesn't really matter. I'll just keep it at 120. Or 320. Uh, okay, so for the video, uh, this is my this is my graphics card. You don't have to mess with that. Uh, and for the 1080p, if you want your video to be 1080p uh, at 60 frames, uh, you're gonna put 920 by 1080, and it's it has the aspect ratio has to be 16 by 9. Uh, and if you if you want to downscale it, so it's like easier on your computer, uh, you can downscale it. But I just keep it at 1920 by 1080, and you can put it at 60 frames if you really want to. Uh, I keep it at 30. Sometimes uh, it just all depends what's running on my computer. Uh, I don't know if it's like, but usually it would be on uh, 60. So I'm gonna click apply. Make sure to click apply after you're done. Uh, and then for audio, this is where your audio comes in from your PC. So um, if you want everything from your PC to like go in the video, just click default. But if you have like a speaker system, then click your speaker your speaker system. And yeah, I'm sorry I'm stuttering this game. It's uh, not this game. Dang, I'm so like used to recording gameplay that every time I okay, you know, I'm not even gonna get into that. Okay, so the microphone I do have the blue snowball, so I have that checked. Um, you could use all your other mics if you if you have other mics, you could check that. Uh, and then 
make sure make sure it's plugged plugged in when you're doing this and yeah this is just uh you don't have to worry about this uh for the hotkeys this is all personal preference if you do want to start recording uh, let's just say you want to start recording by clicking f6 uh you press f6 and you start recording uh and if you want to stop recording uh, let's just say i want to stop recording with f7 uh and that would be it but it's all personal preference so i'm going to clear it because uh, i like it that way and i'm not going to save those settings and you want to copy all this down um very fast. This all depends on your computer. I just put it at very fast. It just seems like it's good for me. I'm not going to say that. And this is all not important. Uh, not as important as these settings over here. So um, that's it. I'm going to click OK and let's go to my editing software. Alright guys, now that we're in my editing software, uh, the editing software that I use is called Sony Vegas Pro uh, 13. It does cost money. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for those that we're looking for some free software, but a free software that you can use to edit your um, videos is called Windows Movie Maker. Uh, it's not the best, but it is free, and anything free is good to me. Um, so, uh, in my editing software, this is basically where I edit my videos. You can basically um, go around in your clip. This is my Elise gameplay. You guys have probably seen this. Uh, I literally uploaded it today, I think. Um, and, well, yeah. So, you can drag around um, your little scrolly thingy and uh to play the video you just click a space and then um it will i don't know if you guys oh yeah sorry um for this i forgot to mention this earlier uh but you can control the volume by basically dragging over here as as shown so the the volume from the pc is going to vary depending on what you want so if i want it f like maxed out it's going to go 100 percent and for the volume or for my Microphone, I could put it really low. Yeah. All right. So I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. I'm really bad at this stuff, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and this is how I add my video. So if you want to like cut something, I'm just going to show you a quick demo. Uh, if you want to cut something, let's just say I want to cut right here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click um, split. And you could drag it away or drag it into so it actually fades in. So I'm going to show you a quick. So as you can see, it's and you, you can scroll and then it fades out oh, you guys probably can't see right now actually uh, because it's actually like, it's really hard to see because um, in this in the in the video editor it's really hard to like see what's actually going on in the little preview um, over here because it's like it's not the final thing so it's just yeah it hasn't rendered out completely um, but in the final product, you will see a fade over here because I dragged them in like in between each other. Um, if you want like to add a blur, you'd go to video effects. You'd go to uh, where is it? Let's just say you want to add a blur. You'd go to over here and you'd click medium blur and you drag it onto the video. And as you can see, it blurred out. And now you can kind of not really see anything because it's blurred out. Um, let's just say you want to add a transition so it like moves. Uh, you'd go to transitions right here. Let's just say I want a cross effect. So I drag over here to the very edge of the video. Uh, and this is how long I want the transition to be over here. Uh, let's just say I want it to be extremely long. Um, put it all the way over here. I, I'm, I'm going to link you guys some tutorials in the comments. Or not in the comment section. In the description if you guys are um, looking for some more in-depth tutorials on how to do this. Um, really good. That was really good. In the transition. It doesn't look that good. But um, it's... You know, it's just a demo, uh, so it's nothing. It has, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, and how to basically render uh, your, or how to upload, um, or I'm sorry, how to well save the project and upload it to YouTube, uh, is you want to go to file and then you'd want to go to render as and then over there you'll see an option where it says uh, Internet 1080p. You want to click that and then you want to um, up or sorry render it and then choose the destination where you want it. I usually choose my desktop because that's the easiest place to find it. And that's basically it. That's how I render my videos. Um, if you have any questions at all, make sure to leave it in the, in the comment section. I will probably answer all the comments for this uh, video. Um, and well, yeah, so let's just get out of here and I'll show you how I um, make my thumbnails. So this is from start to finish. All right, what, what up guys? Uh, we're back at Photoshop. Um, I don't know which Photoshop version this is actually. Let's see. I don't, I don't know. Wait. What the? Dude, dude, that's a lot of uh, thumbnails. Uh, CS6, uh, 50, I mean 64-bit 
Um, so basically what I did is I got a picture of Aatrox right off the Riot Games website or LeagueofLegends.com or whatever it's called. Um, and I got it and I dragged it on to Photoshop. And this is basically how I create all my thumbnails. You guys probably think, oh my god, dude, you work like so hard on your thumbnails. Uh, I honestly don't. Um, this is basically how I make my thumbnails. So I, I go to, oh, I'm sorry, this is like a vital. I'm going to delete that layer. These are layers, by the way, over here. Um, you want to go over here to that little text bar. Um, or this little text icon and you want to drag a really really big um, box across the entire screen and let's just go and make it 200 font yeah, 200 point All right, that seems really nice so we're gonna type Aatrox top yeah Aatrox top and we're gonna drag the image just a little bit yeah and we're gonna tilt the image we're, we want to go to the corner and then tilt it um, so it looks very nice and then we are going to, um, we're going to right click on the layer over here, down here. And we want to go to blending options. And then at blending options, we want to go all the way down to drop shadow. And then drop shadow, we play around with distance. So it makes it look like it's kind of floating and spread. So it's a little bit thicker. And then size is what really matters. So. It looks like it has like that little nice shading effect. And if we want to make it a little bit bigger, we go to 220. Or sorry. <laughs> 220. And that looks really nice. Uh, we're going to delete the background real quick and bring it back. Give me one second, guys. All right. So I brought the background back, and I'm going to make the picture just a little bit bigger. I'm actually going to control Z to undo and hold the shift button while dragging so it's state it stays square and I'm gonna drag it and as you can as you see I'm gonna drag the Aatrox picture below the text so the text is on top and as you guys can see it is an Aatrox thumbnail and basically what I do is I go to over here uh, I go to file and you go to save for web and you basically just click save and then click your destination where you want to put it and then I just upload it to YouTube. Uh, I'm going to go to the Chrome right now. All right, what is up, guys? Let's go, Sonny. Um, we are at our Chrome right now. And all you have to do is to, uh, or to upload something is click Upload right here. And it'll take you to a page just like this. And you basically just drag your file. Um, I am going to do it real quick. I'm going to drag a random file. And I am going to drag it inside the box. Um, and you just click your title so let's just say wukong is amazing just like ghost to lane and ghost to lane is number one i love him um omg it's ghost which is my second channel and then i'm gonna put like follow my twitter <laughs> self-advertisement um, and that's basically how I do it. And if you want to, you this is you click on this and it'll show, um, it'll ask you what thumbnail you want uh, from your computer. You just click that and I'll just, it'll be my Aatrox mid video, or not my video, sorry, my picture that I just made from Photoshop. I'm going to have tutorials about all this in the description below. So if you want to like know a little bit more than what I'm explaining right now, because I'm awful at explaining things, I'm awful at this. Um, but this is just a little bit, a little bit of a glimpse of how I make my videos. So I basically use OBS to record it. I use Sony Vegas Pro um, to edit it, and I use Photoshop to edit my thumbnail, and I use Chrome to upload the, the video. And this is basically what I do every single day. So uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comment section. I will answer. I am sorry if this video was awful. I really am. I'm so sorry. You can also put it as public so everyone can see it, or unlisted so only people with a link can see it over here, or private where only you can see it, or scheduled where uh, you you want a certain time where this video is uploaded. I do that sometimes um, if I'm going to be gone for like the weekend and I want a video up. Uh, PewDiePie does it. He does it like like three days in advance, or not even three days, like like a month in advance uh, because you know he goes out a lot, uh, so he wants some videos out out. While he's gone, because you know he's not gonna have like good internet, um, he's not gonna have a fancy mic while he's traveling, so he might as well have some videos scheduled uh, for upload dates. 
um, when he's out of the country or something. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Let's go, Slender, and I'm out. Peace.